So I was in the Windows Store the other day and I realized there's something I haven't covered and I wanted to share it with you. And I was reviewing Fotar uh, and I just realized I wanted to share this with somebody but I was going, oh, how do you share stuff from the store? So I right clicked on it and as you can see I got home and your apps and that's it. And I remembered, duh, Windows 8 has a built-in sharing function. And sure enough, I go over this charms bar, I click on share and you'll see that a share menu comes up. Now I've already blanked out the person I sent it to but you can see here it has different ways you can share. You can share through mail or in this case people and you can do that through the built-in interface there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and share this with, uh, with the mail interface. So as it comes up, I blanked out uh, again uh, who's on my list, but you can go to there and get your usual drop down of your contacts or it'll auto complete, you know, or put in a new name, you can do that. Uh, and you can go ahead and create a new email message and put in a new subject line. But you can see it has a nice picture of the store app and a description of it along with a link that they can click on and they can go right to that app. So again, that's how to use the, the built-in share app for uh, sharing stuff on the Windows Store in case you have some friends that also have Windows 8. Well, then I got thinking about it and I'm thinking, well, uh, besides doing this, there's other things I want to share on Windows 8 as well. Uh, you used to have to do photos, you know, you'd open the email and then you uh, link a photo and all that. But uh, guess what? You can do it a lot easier with the built-in share functions. So what I've done here is I went over to the photo application and opened up a photo. And there you see the photo. I'm thinking, okay, I want to share this photo with some friends. So I go over again to the share function. And again, I've blanked out the names of the people, but I'm going to do this through mail. Uh, and go ahead and uh, do that. So I'm sitting there going, okay, I can type in the name and go ahead and do that. All the things you normally do by opening up a new email message and then go out and do a attach and then go grab the photo and everything like that. You can do that. By the way, you could do that in Windows 7. You can right click on any photo and say send it in an email and it'll do the basic function. But this is how you do it here in, uh, in Windows 8. So you type in the person's name you're going to send it to. So let's go ahead and do that. And. We're going to just select one of my existing ones and send it off. And there it goes, sending mail. So it goes off and send it. So I'm going to go over to my uh, mail application where I have that exact same email that I sent it to. Well, there it is, no subject, but it, uh, it has the, there it is, and you just say open. And there it is, open through the attachment that's in the email. So that, then I got to start thinking about Internet Explorer. So here we go to Internet Explorer. So in the old days, we used to uh, go to Internet Explorer and copy the link at the top of the page. And sometimes you have a Windows Live installed. You could right click and say email with Windows Live. But then uh, here, Windows 8, we just do the same functionality we talked about for the other things. It's all the same. So all you do is go over your charms bar and you go and select share and you know there's your previous email things you shared but then you go to the mail uh, application it pops up on the right hand side oop I clicked on people you can do it through Facebook and Twitter of course and uh, any share functionality that you have set up but we go out here to mail and we type in the name of somebody we want to send it to just like before and send it to that account and everything. And there we go. We uh, see the link down. You have a picture of uh, the link we're sending and what was going on at that time at the website. You can, by the way, you can go to different sections of the website just like you would anywhere else. You don't have to worry about copy and pasting the link or anything because it'll put it right there in the mail again with a picture of the area and what's uh, the link to the exact page. So there's how you quick share stuff in uh, Windows 8. Pretty slick, uh, pretty effective. <laughs>